Hey, third grade. Today you are going to get back your plastic sheet that you've been working on. You're also going to get one of these see-through transparencies, so a little bit different than what we've been doing lately. So you're going to get a sheet of transparency, and you're going to get your final map. You can continue using a regular map like you've been doing, or today I also have some different subway maps. You're welcome to use one of these if you would like. Obviously a subway is a train that oftentimes we use in cities like New York and bigger cities that it's hard to get around in. You're going to put that map underneath your transparency sheet that you picked up today. Right? Because it's not in the sleeve like it has been, your sheet might accidentally move around a little bit. That's okay, not a big deal. So I'm doing the subway map, and you're just going to continue adding chunks of colors. So the subway map has a lot of different lines that you can work on. You don't have to do the entire train line in a color. Maybe I'm just going to do sections of it. Notice too, I have this white border around my sheet of paper. I'm just going to pretend that that train line comes all the way off the edge of the paper. So that way I don't end up with a border around my artwork. You could even color in some of these sections that the train line creates. Like you can see it creates almost like this square shape between them. Maybe I want to come in. I want to color a few of these in. That's fine. We're going to spend most of class working on these again. Once again, we're going to end up working most of class. When you think you're all finished, you're going to take that transparency and you're going to gently slide it into that plastic sleeve that we have. So now you have three layers of maps that are on top of each other. Carefully lining it up. Your transparency is going to be just a little bit smaller than your sleeve, so make sure that it gets all the way to the bottom. I'm really struggling to get it in there. There we go. All right, so you can kind of see what it looks like. Then you're going to pick it up and you're going to bring it back to me and I will help attach it to a white sheet of paper. That way we can see that nice design that you have for your artwork. Right? When you're all finished, please make sure to put the caps back on your markers and clean up.